I think there's a danger in some of the ways in which AI has been represented that it, it, it has been more of a science fiction idea that there's some unifying way in which these systems are going to coordinate and achieve whether it's general intelligence or something that you can't turn back or that there's no way to reverse how much power it has. And I think it helps people start thinking about the scope of all the different ways in which it might affect one's life. But I think its representation is not helpful because it, it allows us to look around and say, well, there's no alien force or there's no kind of big battle going on. I don't see any robots in the street. You know, I see ATMs and things like that. I'm able to have a Skype conversation. You know, I, I, I don't see that alien force. Therefore, AI may not be as big a problem. And so what happens is you lose a sense for all the different risks that may just, each of them may be limited, but they distribute and they spread in all these kind of uneven ways where it's not a unified alien force, but it's just a set of things that have kind of settled on our landscape that we, we don't have the ability to track because we're looking for the wrong thing. We're looking for some super intelligent agent instead of looking for a lot of piecemeal, partial tasks and things that are happening and that are being networked and connected in strange and partial ways, but still powerful ways so that if we say in China, we recognize the surveillance systems that they are implementing, that's scary. I mean, that I will, you know, say that's something that's concerning. So we need to kind of have that flexibility to understand that some of the threats are immediate and we can see them. Some of them, it's going to take a while to, to really sort through what, what the threat is.